Yeah, it's good to see you too, Nayan. How you been, man? I've been well. I've been well. I've heard a lot about you. I heard exactly where you are. I love going to Houston, train out in Houston a lot. So uh, that's great. Yeah, awesome, man. So I had a couple of questions for you. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, it's been really great to see um, you know, Demar Hamlin um, yes. on his road to recovery, and he's been uh, clear for football activity. So I um, just want to hear from you, like how the team was able to bond together, and um, you know, you had two special kick returns for a touchdown um, in that game. So just want to hear from you how that went. Um, I think uh, the first thing is we had to do is we had to make a choice. Uh, everybody, uh, it was a tough time after the game, and uh, the best thing that happened to us was uh, about three or about two or three days after the game on a Thursday, we got to talk to Lamar, and he told us he was fine, and he told us to go play well, and uh, that really just took a lot of the load off. And the best thing that really happened was uh, Coach McDermott, uh, our general manager Brandon Bean, they were really uh, great with us being vulnerable. We really went in there, talked about our feelings, and uh, through tough times, and make stronger men. So uh, we bonded together, and uh, that's how we were able to go out in the Patriots game and win. And uh, I'm just happy to be a part of a uh, history where, uh, you know, I could just be there for a fallen brother and uh, help spark this team and uh, this community. Yeah, for sure, man. That was like incredible what you did. The two kick returns, that was critical in that game. And so that was really amazing. Um, you know, I'm a Houston Texans fan. If you remember when you met, I was yes. my Texans gear that game. But um, yes. yeah, there are a couple of players from the Bills that just came over here to Houston. Um, Devin Singletary, the call him motor, okay. um, and as well as Case Keenum. Um, yes. So just want to hear if you had any interactions with both of them and just what your thoughts Man. are. Truthfully, uh, Houston uh, couldn't have got two better guys. Uh, those are two guys that were really close to me. Uh, Case Keenum helped me understand the playbook a lot. Uh, when uh, you know when I was out of the uh, when I was out and there was practice going on, Case was able to explain plays to me. He's uh, you know like he's been playing for like I watched Case when I was like 12 years old, so he's been around a while. So he had a lot of experience. He helped me understand the playbook a lot and uh, motor. Great, great running back, even better guy. And, uh, like, they call him motor for a reason. You're going to see why when you get there. He uh, always has second, second effort, uh, very great back, and uh, he helped me a lot as well. He showed me the ropes, helped me uphold a standard there. And uh, wherever wherever he goes, he's going to be successful. So I know he's going to find a place right at home in Houston. Yeah, for sure, man. Definitely excited about that. And uh, can you just, um, you know, speak to, like, your transition from the Colts to the Bills? Like, really, like, what you're looking forward to the season and, you know, how you think, I guess, the offense can use you more this season? Uh, you know, just transition, just learning a different playbook. Uh, just It's different. I was one place for five years. Now all this changed after learning a new standard, a new culture. And uh, I'm just trying to find my way still. I'm new, and uh, I've been welcome with open arms, but I just have to figure out the playbook, figure out uh, where I'll be at. And uh, the more I learn, the better it will be used. So I just put it on me to uh, make sure I know where I'm supposed to be at and uh, just wait for the opportunity, which I know I'll have some. I don't know. I mean, I've been watching the draft a lot. Uh, I haven't seen it. I don't really know a lot of players. Uh I know, uh, truthfully, I, I trust our general managers with what with general manager with whoever he likes, and uh, I'm honestly just excited for who comes in. Uh, I've seen a lot of hype behind this draft class of quarterbacks. Uh, they have some great running backs, receivers. Uh, I think it's going to be a great draft class, so I'm just excited to see a new pool of talent come in. I think this is going to be a spectacular class, honestly. Awesome, and just last question for you really quick. Um, just as a national spokesperson, I mean, what just keeps you inspired um, to you know, keep supporting the mission? Honestly, I think what keeps me inspired is meeting people, meet, meeting new people. Uh, every day, uh, there's somebody I could possibly meet in whose life I can touch. I've been super excited about that. But just meeting people like you, or uh, and see seeing you again, that's honestly what keeps me coming back. Uh, when uh, like when I see your face, I remember how we met. I can remember that. And there's people who I've just met throughout those years who uh, we all have the same mission and journey, and that's what kind of makes us family. And no matter if I don't see you for two or three years, I can see you again and remember exactly who you are. That's what keeps me coming back. And to meet and make more friends like that has been uh, super exciting for me as a spokesperson. Yeah, that, that's so great, man. I really appreciate you, man. You've been amazing. Um, and just, you know, you keep doing your thing out there. And you know, that's JJ. I interviewed him, uh, I think, last season. Yeah, he was really amazing. Yeah, and I know he's a great guy. I played him a couple of times. He was definitely hard to play against. I'm definitely happy I don't have to play him anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, you played against him, called him a great guy, huh? It, man, yeah. I was... Sounds tough. I was so happy. I was so happy when he left Houston and I didn't have to see him twice a year. Thank oh. God he left. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I was so happy when he left. <laughs> oh, that's uh, great. Thank you so much, I Appreciate you, man. Yeah, thank Manav, you. thank you yeah, for you coming up, man. I know I love Houston too, so there we go. Appreciate All you, right, thank Manav, you. Manav, thank you, bud. I'm gonna put you back.